Hi, um, this is going to be a tutorial about um, resolution and file size. Okay, I have these documents here, and I'm going to open these up in Photoshop. Um, first one says Rooster Big Print, and the second one says Rooster Small Print dot JPG. Okay, so I'm going to click on this first one that says Big Print, and I'm going to hit Command I to get the information on that. And you can see the size of this file is 324K KB. All right, so now I'm going to click on this next one, and I'm going to hit Command I, and you can see this one is 328 KB. They're exactly the same, but at first look, they seem the same. But you notice this one says big print, and this one says small print. Okay, so they are different. All right, so now I'm going to click on the desktop and hold and draw a box around both of these, and I'm going to double click and open them both up in Photoshop. Um, my default is set so JPEGs will open up in, in Photoshop automatically because uh, sometimes if you like if you well, actually that's off the screen I'm gonna move this down I'm gonna right click here and you can see open with normally the, the default in Mac is is uh, pre the preview app down here but I changed that so it opens up automatically in Photoshop okay so um, now and also this screen it looks a little different one I apologize I'm working in CS5 I haven't upgraded to CS6 yet and I also have the application frame turned off so everything isn't self-contained but I find it easier to work you know so I can see the desktop going back and forth with these especially with this tutorial it will be a lot easier okay so I have these two files big print and small print alright so as you can see on the screen when they open up they're both 100 percent and 100 percent they appear they're the same they are the same so if I click on this one I hit image image size it says the file size pixel dimensions is 1.23 megabytes right here same same it says 750 by 573 all right cancel I'm gonna click on this one image size and it should be the same 1.23 megabytes, 750, 573 in the pixel dimensions. Okay, but here's where they differ. <clears throat> okay, you see this one says the file, the document size is 2.5 inches by almost 2 inches. And the resolution is 300 uh, pixels per inch. I'm going to cancel that, open up the other one, and see what it says. This one, image size, is 8 inches, and its height and resolution... Oh, 8 inches by 6 and its resolution is 93 okay so <clears throat> the difference is I have changed the document size on this one so this one will print larger okay so hang on let me see I'm gonna hit command P on this okay again remember the file size this is a hundred percent and this is a hundred percent so I'm gonna click on this one hit command P and you can see big print this is how it will print on a standard size sheet of paper I'm gonna hit cancel now I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna hit command P and you can see small print this will print out exact will print out like this on a standard size sheet of paper I'm gonna hit cancel so again the difference I'm gonna go back to this dialog image image size and the difference is okay so again the pixel dimensions locked out right here is where all the magic happens re resample image is unchecked okay so it's unchecked so I can go back and you know I can change the pixel dimensions but I don't want to change the pixel dimension so I'm gonna lock that out by turning resample off but you can see if I change that to 6 the resolution will change you see the resolution went to 125 I think the other one I think it was like 3 inches okay see it's like okay I'm getting closer it's kicked up the resolution to 250 so the thing is it's sort of a trade-off I'm gonna hit okay I'm gonna cancel that so it stays this big print the the what is actually happening is this little thing I made here this is I did this in flash so imagine this balloon is your file okay so you have a, a balloon and you draw a smiley face on it all right so now it, right now it is very detailed okay it's a detailed smiley face well you think about those lines on that smiley face are very crisp and hard and clear okay so now if I blow up that balloon Okay, notice the relationship between this guy stays in place. I'm going to blow that balloon up. And you can see now that sharp, crisp line became fuzzy. Okay, so imagine a balloon is you draw on it and then you blow it up and it balloon stretches and now it's fuzzy. This is like blowing up a photograph. So say you find an image on the internet 
and you think that you can just expand it but by making it larger to fit your whatever you're working on it's going to lose quality you can get away with that a little bit but not completely okay so if you need to expand something you have about a temper you can maybe expand it 10 maybe 20 percent but then after that it starts to lose quality and it becomes very obvious that you've blown this up and it hurts the quality of your image unless you can do something creative with that it's not going to be a good solution so be careful about expanding and reducing files okay so imagine we take this same balloon here you see how big it's blown up and just think of like a, a billboard so we're gonna imagine this is a huge balloon and we're just gonna move it back a hundred feet so watch the shadow so just imagine it's zooming back in space okay so when you zoom it away from your eye now it looks sharp and detailed so this is sort of what we're kind of trying to do when we start playing with image resolution and print size the you know the smaller your print the less detail it needs the bigger your print the more detail it needs and now I'm just gonna just push that guy back so you can see that's how big this balloon is but when you see it from this distance it looks fine so again taking that under consideration just remember you're it's sort of a play uh, you know a little give and take if you want to make the print size bigger and you have a fixed file size you're gonna lose quality of you know the resolution so just be very aware of that so again big print the file sizes are both the same and so if I hit command P print that's how it's gonna print cancel and then this one command P it's gonna print small so this one is gonna have a lot more detail than the other one alright so I'm gonna close out of these here I have two more here and this one says rooster big file size and this one's rooster small file size so I'm gonna hit click on it hit command I and you can see this one's 311 KB and I'm gonna click on this one command I and you can see this one is a hundred and six KB so it's you know roughly a you know a third the size of the other one okay um so I'm gonna close both of these I'm gonna click drag across and double click on both and open them up in, both in Photoshop say they, they've opened up in a tab I'm gonna separate them so I can get back and forth a little easier okay so you can see this one is 300 ppi pixels per inch and this one is 72 ppi which is you know 72 pixels per inch um so if you notice right here down at the bottom this says the file size I mean that this is displaying 100 percent and this one is displaying at 100 percent okay so this is the difference again so if you send these the other ones if you sent them an email they're both going to take the same amount of time to download because although they're printing at a different size they're identical this one this one's going to download if you send it an email a lot quicker okay this one's going to take a while alright so I'm going to hit command P on this alright you see how the size this is in this print document alright and this one I'm going to do the same thing and it's going to come out exactly the same and the reason for that is the resolution is the same but I mean it's different but it whoops sorry I hit invert okay I'm gonna go to image size 300 and you can see this is the document size is 2.5 uh, width and the resolution is 300 okay so I'm gonna hit command cancel click on my 72 ppi image and you can see this one the document size is 2.5 on the width but the resolution is 72 uh, pixels per inch so that is the big difference okay so you have to remember there's a give and take between resolution and print size and when you open something on the screen so also say if you take something off of the internet you might drop it in. it looks fine and then you drop it into your document which has a high resolution and it appears really small because that one has a low resolution and you're comparing pixel dimensions as opposed to print dimensions okay um, one last thing I wanted to talk about here is where this says resample well no no actually before I get in that I want to show this okay so you can see this one is 300 pixels per inch and I'm talking about resolution and quality you can see that one is at 100 and this one's at 100 so I'm gonna zoom in and just imagine you're working with this and you are blowing it up making it larger 
and when I get it up to uh, by, actually it's a little too big uh, about the same size you can see this one is sharp as a tack and this one is fuzzy okay so it you lo you lose a lot of quality I mean there's a big quality difference between 300 pixels per inch and 72 pixels per inch but something else I want to to show you now okay I'm gonna go to to uh, image image size and now I'm gonna drop this resolution down to uh, actually well if I drop this down to 72 it's just gonna change the document size that's not what I want to do see it changed made it bigger print but I'm gonna put that back to 300 because I wanted to resample and when you resample you see when I turn that back on resample that pixel dimensions opened up that means I'm affecting the file size okay so right now I'm gonna resample this is still 2.5 this one's 2.5 and I am going to drop the size of this down to 72 um, pixels per inch and now whoops hang on did that go <laughs> image let me double check that image size 72 okay um, sorry I turned off when I was clicking this back and forth I accidentally turned that off see and now it's jumped that up to 10 I'm gonna put this back to 300 so I get my original file size alright now I'm gonna hit resample and now resample is on so again it's resampling it's changing the numbers pixel dimensions is on and I'm gonna change this to 72 pixels per inch res resolution now you can see up here where it says pixel dimension this is really important when you are changing file size pay attention to this once you have resample on you can see it was 1.3 megabytes now it's going to 72 uh, 72k okay so just be aware so if you want to make a file si a file smaller just you know pay this is a number I pay attention to most is up here when I'm dealing with with prints or sending things through an email okay so I'm gonna hit OK now you can see it shrunk right up alright but you can see this is at 100 percent okay and this one I'm gonna put to 100 percent I just type that in and hit enter so you can see there are now the same size because this one's 72 ppi and this is 72 ppi okay so now I'm gonna show you a no-no this one I believe this is the last thing I that I have there's one last thing okay say I made a mistake no I don't like it that small I want to make it back the way it was so I'm gonna go to image size and I'm gonna click on that and I'm and again resample is on is checked and I'm gonna put that at 300 and put it back at 300 pixels per inch now do you see what happened it got fuzzy okay it lost that original quality see I can I'll go to one of these other ones that I had so you can see the original the original side original image is much sharper so I lost quality so be careful if you reduce something and and expand it again it's going to lose quality because Photoshop has thrown away all that information and you can't just blow it back up now if I wanna fix that alright now I'm gonna put on my applications frame here because I wanna get these tools in this window here I'm going to go to my my uh, history panel and you can see image size it's going backwards boom okay see now I'm back so to correct my mistake of reducing that file size and blowing it back up I just used my history panel and went back to the original document and it got that detail back but shrinking it and blowing it back up will not work um, but there's something called a smart object I'm going to just what is this image I'm just gonna drag uh, drag another image here from the screen you see that little box here whoops that little box right here okay now I'm gonna double click on there I'm not gonna go into this now but this little icon you gotta remember this with the smart object you can do that but a smart object is gonna cause you problems for now but I just want you to be aware that there is a way that you can set this up so you can shrink and reduce but for now stay I'm gonna turn that off but for now do not reduce and expand your photo reduce it in size and then blow it back up and think you're gonna get the same dot same size if you're you know you haven't made it saved it and quit or anything like that you can probably go back in your history panel and get that information back there's only so many steps you have here but in most cases you can probably salvage it or just go back to the original always keep an original as a backup in case you mess up a file anyway that's that